Hello, it's like I lean in here. It's like I lean in ministries, private chef services, delivering kingdom business, period. Happy Thanksgiving. We are thankful that you are here watching this video. If you click, then please subscribe and notification bell if you don't mind. And today in our menu, we will start off with the collard greens and um is a collard greens are not too hard. Prep time and cook time is 40 minutes. And I cooked it with neck bones. The ingredients were collard greens, three bundle, one onion, black pepper, Haitian style seasoning, smoked paprika, salt to taste. And now, as you can see, I am preparing. I've already washed it coming from the store. I've let them soak because the greens are really dirty. They have dirt and bugs. So we want to wash it thoroughly so we will get all those bugs out even when i prep it and trim it and stuff i am still going to wash it after as you can see this is my last bundle of chiffonade chiffonade is a method a cutting method in culinary school and i'm using a chiffonade me method to cut it down into the sizes that i want i love the stems so i will be eating the stems there we go. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. So as I'm continuing to cut this, I will be going to rinse it one more time. Well, a couple of times before I put it in my pressure cooker. All right. Cut it down the middle like that. So it won't be too, like, spaghetti-like. We want collard greens. You know, bite-sized collard greens. And now we're taking up all the little pieces. Yes, take all that money, girl. Take all of that money off that board. Now we're ready. We're ready to put everything in the pressure cooker except for the pork neck. We will be washing the pork neck in a specific way with um, sour orange, lime, and then we're just gonna wash it off with hot water. And then we will add it on into the pressure cooker in order for all of that to cook together. And then when it cooks together, we will saute it after. Now we're gonna put it in. We're gonna put it in. Go ahead girl, keep putting that money in. And then now we're going to put the sour orange and the lime in order for it to, there it go. Sorry, I'm kind of recovering from cooking. And now, I don't know, I'm waiting for something. <laughs> I have to get the lime because I forgot to put it next to me. There it goes. And then put that in there and then we're gonna stir it in and then we're gonna stir it in stir it around before we put it in the hot water me I like I like to do this method I mean some people don't do it but I like to do this method in order for me that's how I feel like my meat is gonna be you know fit for my consume and now we're just gonna stir it all up stir it all up stir it all up now we wash the meat and now after we drain it we will place it into the pressure cooker with the collard greens now we're going to drain it and then we're just going to place them on top of the collard greens There we go. There we go. And then after we done clean 
that and put that in there, we will be putting the amount of water we want the collard greens to have so it could cook through. Now we would add the water. And then we will put the pressure cooker for 30 minutes. Well, I check it in 30 minutes. And, you know, I check it in 30 minutes. I don't open it right away because you're not supposed to open a pressure cooker until the, all the pressure is out. But, um, yeah, I check it in 30 minutes to see. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. And then if it's still not cooked, I will put it back on. But if it's the way I like it, I will, you know, right then and there drain it and then, you know, saute it up and stuff like that. But right now, we're just putting it, you know, there you go. There you go. Just collard greens and neck bones. Now, I've stopped it and now it is. Well, I'm kind of playing with the nozzle. <laughs> so, whenever that is all pressured out, we will open it up, drain it out, and then, you know, do what we have to do. Alright, we are opening it here. There it goes. They go that collard green type of texture. We like. We like that collard green and neck bone. The neck bone is not falling off the bone yet, but when I saute it around with the collard greens, it would, you know, just lay itself up in there. You know how neck bones do when we put it all good with the collard greens. So I'm stirring that around a little bit. And now we are going we strained it now you can see how it looks when we strained it i even saved a little bit of the juice because at the end we don't want it to be too dry we want to have a little juice in it so when we saute it we can have it so here is where we added the onions and we saute that for just a little bit we saute that until it's translucent. And here's the collard greens. Hey, collard greens. We're about to fry you up. I mean, saute you up. <laughs> so now, here is the time where you should add your garlic, smoked paprika, garlic paste, Haitian seasoning. Why well, use Haitian seasoning? Whatever seasoning you want to put in it before you add in the collard greens. And you stir that up and give it a little stir. So you can make that all that flavor come together in order for us to lay the collard greens on a flavorful bed yes there we go throw that in there throw that in there all right so now we will coat the collard greens with the with the mixture until it's well coated with all the ingredients that we put in it in order for it to taste well and the way that I want it. Now, this is what it looks like when I fully like it the way I like it. And you can see the sauce is still in there. I eat that with cornbread. <laughs> I eat that with cornbread and yeah, just like that. Thank you for watching. I am posting more videos and see you next time. Like I live in Mystery Ministries, we're serving.